Mr. Mbao Mohini, Chairman of the National Action Cultural Committee, is here with us as well. And I see you nodding. Good morning. How are you? Fine, thanks. So when you have legends like them, and then you talk about young kings and queens of, of Calypso, you have to say, you know, this is somebody that you can look at and try to be like. Oh, but definitely, because Pink Panther was a young king winner in, yeah. times, in times gone by. Yeah, yes. so, so it's a good, good start um, for people to, to look at that and then hear this, because you are going to tell us about this competition, the Young Kings and Queens competition. Tell me what has happened. Yeah. <clears throat> well, um, we have issued the dates for our audition, which is, which is the first phase. Um, on Saturday, mm -hmm. the 12th, what, what we have done this year is we have decentralized the, the auditions so that normally you come to the NECC building, but this year we are going south first on the 12th mm -hmm. at Skiffle Bunch and Theatre. Um, then on the 13th, we'll be at the Signal Hill Senior Comprehensive in Tobago. On the 19th, we move to QF Shazando and Theatre, and on the 20th, we mm -hmm. will be in North Trinidad at the UTT place in, in Napa. The so what time do these auditions All start? of these auditions will start at, or will be conducted between 12 noon uh -huh. and 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Age group, is there an age group? No, not. The age group competition or the age group auditions will be held on the 22nd, on the 22nd. which would be 5 to 10, 11 to 14, 15 to um, 17, and um, that will be at the Queen's Park Savannah on Tuesday, the 22nd of, of January. Yeah. So if people want to come and audition f at these venues, the, the first set of venues that you mentioned, what do they need to work with? What do they need to have? Okay. Uh, the, the age group, obviously, they will have to have some form of um, indication letter in terms of their age. The... The others, all they do is come there as a registration fee of $150, uh, 75 for the younger ones. Um, and this junior uh, Kings and Queens competition, this Young Kings and Queens competition yes. has been going on for some time now. Yeah, this year is the 35th annual. Yeah. And um, you, you mentioned the question of registration. Registration has begun already at the NECC building, 40 Duke Street in Port of Spain, and is continuing daily between the hours of 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Yeah. And is there a contact number that people can have? 270-4111. I should mention, because um, uh, Tobago has made a, a special request, I should mention that Tobago's performances, particularly in the Queens, has increased over the past few mm -hmm. years, so that you have had winners of the National Crimson so Queen competition um, both in 2012 with uh, Fire Empress and 2014 Candice Robinson. Second place winners 2013 as well as 2017. Wendy Garrick in 2017 was Lynn Reed 2013. So that, that, that decentralization effort both into Tobago as well as other parts of the country mm -hmm. will be intensified going forward. And we are seeking to have more community participation where the, where the competition is concerned. Yeah, and, and that is important. As Pink Panther song will say, you know, we need to take back TNT. And, you know, this is probably one of those initiatives that can bring people closer together so that this animosity that you see within communities, you know, we wouldn't have something like that. Yes, no, def definitely so. Um, as he rightfully said, the art form plays that important role and um, it expresses the feeling of the population. The decentralization is, cri is critical to have the, 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 that, that input coming from the various communities in the art form mm -hmm. as well as in terms of their ideas. Mm -hmm. Now, funding is something that we hear people talk about all the time. Is this something that is solely funded by the um, NACC or how, how does it work? Okay. Um, <clears throat> we need to go out as we always do to sponsors, mm -hmm. uh, both private as well as the, the Ministry of Community Development, Culture and the Arts. Uh, we know that the, 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 that the funding has been more challenging in the past, the past three or so years, but it just calls for more legwork, which we are um, trying to do as well as we are introducing other strategies going mm -hmm. forward because 
both 2017 and 2018 have been exceptionally challenging years where funding is concerned. Are you expecting this year to be a bit better? Y yes, we are because we have put a number of things in place mm -hmm. and um, going forward we expect to have a better response. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Mbao Mohini, um, can you give us the information one more time as it relates to how people can register, where they can register, when they can register? Okay, registration could be done for the Duke Street in Port of Spain. For those in Tobago, uh, they could call 476-1519 or 680 yeah. And uh, this, the registration fee is how much? $175 for the adult. Uh, $75 for the children. Okay. All right, thank you very much, Mr. Mbao Mohini, for coming on yeah. and uh, telling us about this initiative. It's the Young Kings and National Calypso Queen competition. Thanks very much, but look out on the 4th of um, February, February for the National Calypso Queens finals, mm -hmm. uh, which will be at Queens Hall, and on the 19th of February at the Queens Park Savannah, you'll have the Young Kings finals.